I look like such a nerd right now. I'm like, I'm living for it. <laughs> We got coffee and we got questions. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or if it's your very first time here. Hi, my name is Melissa or Missa. Welcome to the coolest place on the internet. Uh, today I am going to be doing a palette tag video. I've not done a tag in ages and also I'm very tired. It's quite late at night. I'm slightly hungover. Slightly hungover from my birthday uh, evening out yesterday. So let us just do a nice easy tag. Uh, for this. My friend Emily sent me a screenshot of a video tag and was like, do this. And I was like, okay. And uh, I've not really looked at it. I know one of the questions, but I tried not to look at the questions so that we could kind of experience it all together at the same time. Can we keep the door shut and keep the heat in? Okay, so I'm just gonna bring up the screenshot and also this is obviously someone else's video tag. So I'm gonna leave the creators of this down below in the description so you can check out their videos and also I'll leave all the questions in case you want to just copy paste them and do this yourself which is kind of the point of a tag like all of us just get involved and do it so anyway let's begin let me find the screenshot that Emily sent me come and say hello and then stop being annoying eh? sausage who's your good boy who's your good boy do you want to go sleep up on the shelf on the cozy shelf Right, let's get into this. The questions. All time favourite palette. All time favourite. Carnival XL Pro. I should probably like hold them up and show you so it's more interesting. Carnival XL Pro for bright, fun, beautiful, colourful. I need this palette in my life, couldn't live without it. But if I was to go for all time favourite, more neutral palette, it would be my Dose of Colours for Indication because I love all the the mattes in it, the, the browns, they're the most beautiful tones of browns and then look at the blue, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making up my own rules that I'm allowed to say two palettes for that one. New favourite, oh, it's got to be Surge from uh, Blend Bunny. Also not really into indie brands and this has kind of opened my eyes to how good indie brands are. I've used this in a couple of my lives that I do on Wednesdays which is only for sausages uh, so I've used it a few times and I think I've done yeah I've done a video on this palette as well I'm pretty sure have I if not I could obviously do one uh Surge it's just absolutely beautiful uh I'll do a few swatches for goodness sake on right like these shadows are something else she puts so much depth into her palettes the black in the blend bunny palettes is just the tits it's the, the blend bunny is one of those brands that honestly i've just been like absolutely flabbergasted by the quality of them and i'm just so delighted to have all three of them in my life now uh, i've actually not done a video on blends yet which is up there uh next one keep for the memories oh that's actually quite easy that would be my Jeffree Star blood sugar uh, palette. This, I feel like um, Jeffree Star is what made my channel grow the most, like using his products. So whilst I don't use his products on my channel anymore, and like if I do use them in my own time and then end up putting a picture on Instagram, I wouldn't tag him in it. But I do still keep like all the Jeffree Star stuff I've got. I actually did get rid of my blood sugar initially and then an old friend sent this to me because she wasn't using it. She was like, I know you're not gonna use it on your channel, but do you want this anyway? And I was like, yeah. Uh, so I do still have it and I won't get rid of it because I like it. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say about it. But yeah, I probably keep this one out of all of them the very most for the memories because yeah, it was special to me. At one point, I'm gonna leave these out and just create a huge pile. Hold on, let's have some coffee. Next question is underrated. Ooh. Mm. I'm gonna say the NYX Swear By It is quite underrated. I think these whole like big, huge NYX palettes in general are underrated because the price of them is so expensive that I feel like people don't look at them or they think, oh, NYX can't possibly be worth that. But this palette is wonderful I love it so much I did a full face of NYX and I go on and on about how much I love this palette in there so I won't go on about it just now but I do feel like the NYX swear by it is completely underrated and also their ultimate utopia one completely underrated I think yeah people just look at the price and say oh no not for NYX but actually if they were to try it I think they would be really shocked at how good it is so yeah I'm gonna say NYX swear by it and I'll never get rid of that palette 
Next question, not a favourite but can't get rid of. Um, I would say, I actually think this is quite easy, probably my Urban Decay Born to Run. Um, this is not a favourite by any means but it's a palette that all throughout all my declutters, which I do a lot, you guys see me decluttering makeup a lot, I've never gotten rid of this and I don't see myself getting rid of it, like I do dip into it quite often, I think because it's got lovely like caramel browns and if I'm doing sometimes like I, I never really do it on my channel because I think people must be sick of like my black smoky eyes but if I'm doing like a black to brown smoky eye I'll quite often reach for this palette because like this shade here is just stunning blends out with this peach, this orange kind of makes it a bit more interesting the black's really good, I don't really reach for these greens or the, the purples but yeah I, wouldn't, I don't think I'll ever get rid of this it was also like when it came out I was just at that point where I really couldn't afford high end makeup but I was able to get this and I think it's just a wee bit you know, special to me because of that as well that it is high end, it's Urban Decay but like I was able to get it, you know what I mean? So yeah, that would say, I would say that's not a favourite but can't get rid of it one. I don't know if there's maybe a runner up but not that I can think of. This mug by the way it was from Tesco, how pretty is that? And next question, fave collab, Oh, oh that's easy. <laughs> I would say I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my fave and then I'm gonna give you the runner up. The fave collab has to be uh, Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. Angelica Nyquist. I always have str to struggle pronouncing it, but you know what I mean. It's a club nebula. It's absolutely stunning. I did a video where I managed to use every single shade in my eye look on it, and also this went into my favourites. Like I think I did like my favourite palettes of 2021 or something, I don't know, I'll link all the appropriate videos below but I love this so much, it's an excellent palette all these palettes I'm talking about by the way, there'll be videos on my channel using them and all the swatches and stuff or you can just google them but I'm not going to sit and swatch everything because I just can't be bothered to be quite honest but yeah this is probably my favourite collab but I have to follow that very 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 much with the Soph Makeup Revolution, these are the only Makeup Revolution palettes I have, apart from a couple of XX Revolution palettes back there that were gifted to me by a friend. Um, but yeah, the Soph ones, m namely, I would say this one, not that one, or this one, the um, extra spicy, and then the most recent one I wasn't as blown away with, but I would never get rid of it because it matches like my my family, and I also think like like. Soph also really helped my channel grow when she did like a look that I did with her palettes and posted it on her YouTube channel so they're really special to me for that reason as well but also when Makeup Revolution collab their palettes are always so much better and I think the Soph ones I feel like they maybe put the very most effort into because personally for me I think the quality of them are better than any of the other ones. Uh, just my opinion. Okay Saucy. Saucy. Okay. Hey good boy. If looks could kill, that cat would have killed me a thousand times. 2021 favourite. Oh, easy. I like that I don't really know the questions before I like say them, so I like kind of think of it on camera. P. Louise watched The Queen Conquer. Again, I put this in my palette favourites that I did. I think I did like 2021 palette favourites and this was obviously in it. I've done so many pretty looks with this like on camera or on lives or in my own time and I just love it so 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 much Um, again I've spoken about it quite a lot of depth I've swatched the whole thing as well if you want to go watch it but I love this palette with my whole heart it is obscenely and obnoxiously big it doesn't need to be like this because can't say I've ever whacked that out for a game of chess but I love this palette so much especially obviously this this side and you know because I do have my blood sugar but I don't use it and I won't use it on my channel like this I feel like it's a really good kind of alternative because it's got all the pinks and stuff in it as well so yeah only thing wrong with this palette is it needed a black and they didn't put one in it but I don't care to be honest I can add ABH Noir I really do love this palette with my whole heart and recommend it to absolutely everyone it's worth every penny I love it so much my, pa my pile in front of me is growing um didn't expect to love Ooh, probably this one. Yeah, probably ABH Norvina Volume 5 because I'd previously decluttered all of my ABH palettes and my Norvina palettes. I had all of them and I got rid of them because they just weren't like rocking my boat in the way that I hoped they would. But then when this came, it completely changed my mind and I feel like this is the best quality 
of the of the big Norvenas that they've done and I would never get rid of this palette. I actually barely reach for it and I need to reach for it more but I think the price does completely put me off. Like I do get this kind of ick about using super expensive makeup on my channel because it just like I just I just think life is so expensive. Like I struggle to put my heating on because I think oh no think of the bill to then be using like 75 pound palettes and I'm like Ugh, it gives me the ick a little bit, but uh, I should use it more really, it is just sitting there doing nothing, but I'm not getting rid of it because I love it so much. Yeah, I didn't really expect to love it as much as I do, to be quite honest. I think I put that in my favourites as well. What's the next one? Palette that sparks joy. Apart from all the ones that I've mentioned this far, actually I do find that one quite easy as well. I would say it is my beauty bay, me, myself and Mitchell because like I honestly do feel joy when I pick this up and when I open it like I still hate the packaging. I made that very clear <laughs> when this first launched but this does fill me with joy. I actually used it the other day in my Wednesday Live was it? Or last week in my Wednesday Live and it just reminded me like why I fell in love with this. I am um, and it's super, like, it's limited edition, you can't get it anymore, they're not making it anymore, even though they've hinted a couple of times that they're re-releasing it, but, like, it doesn't seem to be happening and people are selling them for so expensive online, which is just gross, but, yeah, this one brings me a lot of joy because I feel like I got much better in makeup when this came out and I was playing with it so much and uh, I feel like Mitchell put in a lot of effort to make sure there was like shades to blend out with and add depth and I just I love it so 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 much and uh, yeah it brings me a lot of joy we'd also never get rid of that don't think any of the palettes in this video are ever gonna get rid of though am I that would be obscene newest palette in your collection that would be the one I'm wearing on my papers right now which is another blind bunny the dollhouse Amy gave this to me uh, as a birthday present I my birthday was just a couple days ago and uh, yeah, I had I want I knew I wanted to just do a really simple eye look for this video because I'm slightly hungover, so I had to do something super easy. Uh, so I went with my dollhouse, and I just adore it. I haven't obviously done a video on this yet because I only got it a few days ago, but having used it in my own time, my goodness, that like this lace shade is sickening, like olive green like these palettes same with surge same with blends the blend bunny quality is actually outstanding it's just phenomenal everyone needs the blend bunny palette she's got three like i said i've got all three now and uh, i love it so much like there's a black shimmer in here that is not it's not like any other black shimmer it's called harlequin it is just like black it's not like grey and silvery. It's more just like a black shimmer and I just think it's really unique and I just put a bit on today to jazz up my plain black smoky eye and it just makes me blooming happy. I nearly swore there. It makes me happy. You know what I mean? I love it so 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 much. Last question. First palette used in 2022. I have no idea. I need to go on my channel and look at my videos. Yeah, Surge Palette. I put up a video on the Blend Bunny Surge Palette on the 1st of January, but that's at the very bottom of this precarious pile of eyeshadow palettes that's sitting in front of me. I showed you earlier. The Surge Palette by Blend Bunny. That's the very first one I used this year, apparently. Uh, so yeah, that is me completed the tag. Like I said, I will link the creators of the tag down below and I will also write down all the questions in case you want to like copy paste them and use them in a video and also I will link all these palettes down below as well in case you want to have a further look at them in more detail. I would highly recommend all of them except the blood sugar and also you can't get a couple of them anymore which is quite annoying but that's just what happens in the makeup game. They, they bring out beautiful things and then make them limited edition and it really upsets me and I don't like it. But anyway, that is the tag video. Sorry that he has probably licked his butthole in front of you this entire time. But yeah, that is the tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
Um, leave me a comment down below. Is there any of these palettes that I've specifically showed you today that you want me to use first, like in my next video? Because my next video needs to be like an eye makeup look because the last two have been chatty. So yeah, is there any here that you want me to use first? And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I put out three videos a week and on Wednesdays I go live for my sausages or my patrons. And the link is down below if you want to join that. And uh, it's a really fun place. We've got Telegram groups, we've got Facebook groups, and uh, there's just a really good community of people that enjoy playing with makeup and just being nice to each other. So yeah, it's a fun place. And uh, I'm gonna piss off. It's actually quite late at night. This is decaf coffee. And me and the boys are gonna jump into bed. So yeah, hopefully I will catch you on the flip side. Um, hasta la vista, baby. Bye bye. Bye bye. You wanna say bye? You wanna say bye bye? Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.